I was really looking forward to um, this special night because I've actually put my heart to this business. It's not the money. Um, I have enough money. Money is not a problem. I am not here to make money. For Mohammed at the Madras restaurant in Irby, flooding has devastated his business and it looks as though his Eid celebrations won't go ahead. Storms hit the Pennine town, followed by a flash flood, which soon rose to over a metre in height. The fire service had to come to the rescue of diners who were trapped in the restaurant. We had customers here eating their meal. Um, straight away, our colleague, one of our staff, called the uh, 999 for the um, firemen. Uh, they came in very soon. Uh, uh, before any, any water really hit the surface, they told us, you know, to leave downstairs and go upstairs. Since the Boxing Day floods of last year, this kind of rescue is becoming all too common for the emergency services. So we were first in attendance, the metre, the, the rise of the water were about a metre, uh, approximately rising, so we tried to evacuate premises. Uh, Isolated Electrics informed everyone to go upstairs, and then we uh, did a rescue of all the uh, general public out of their property. There are only six crews trained for swift water response at the moment, and now all the firemen across Lancashire are getting prepared. It's just the start, isn't it, I think, really. Uh, we do put flood defences in, we do everything we can. We're all on extra training at the moment. We're going to be doing uh, for flood water awareness training. And now politicians are asking how the finances to help the situation are allocated. From Boxing Day, the government released uh, some flood relief funding and uh, now there are questions being asked as to why that's not being spent in Irby yet. When the rains come, it looks as though places like Irby are just going to have to grin and bear it. Boxing Day was a lot worse, I have to say. It, it, we had time to get s some sandbags out. Last night, there was no warning. We got no warning from the Environment Agency. It was just a complete freak flash flood. And in space of five minutes, it, it were there. And the problem is now, the, especially the businesses that have been affected, they can't get insurance or the excess is so much that it's not practical for them to have insurance. Michael and Angela Wilson had their brand new car damaged whilst they were in the local hall. Well, I was at a, a meeting for church, Royal Saints uh, Parish Church, and um, one of the uh, people in the meeting had said, oh, there's water coming through the door. Um, and we didn't really think much about it. It had been uh, thundering and lightning, and we could hear the thunder. And um, somebody opened the door and it was like a tsunami and it was soon two foot deep in water. Well, the cleanup goes on here in East Lancashire. The government has pledged lots of money and also movable flood relief barriers to areas around the country. But with climate change and the weather department saying that we're expecting to have more flash floods, it's likely that these scenes are going to be repeated all over our region as autumn turns into winter. Roland Gent, that's Lancashire.